Welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms where we are all about faith, family, home, and farm. I hope you find something on our channel that will encourage you and inspire you on your journey. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit like and subscribe, and be sure to turn that little notifications bell on so you'll get notified every time a brand new video is uploaded. We hope to see you in each and every one. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. It is hot, I am sweaty, but I'm going to do this, okay? Y'all saw the title, Stroller Hacks, okay? I promised a stroller hack video a few years ago, and I just realized I didn't get around to it, and I apologize. So we're going to do that today. I have a playlist called Traveling and Car Organization Hacks, and I did that playlist for a reason. Number one, I like keeping my vehicle organized. Everything where I can reach it. I love a clean vehicle, y'all. I do not like trash all in my vehicle, soda bottles and soda cans all in my floor, uh, Burger King sacks and napkins strode everywhere. Y'all, I just can't. I just can't. I love a clean vehicle. If you want a clean vehicle and you want to organize your vehicle, y'all need to go check out that video. Car organization hacks, okay? Things that as a woman, I like to keep in my truck. I like to have organized at a touch notice where I can grab it and important things that women need, okay? Y'all men don't care nothing about this probably, but us as women, okay? And if you have a desire are, you know what? I really need to get a better handle on my vehicle. It's a mess. I think I'll go watch that. Y'all go watch that because I give you some tips and tricks. Y'all, my very first job, I worked at a car wash. <laughs> okay, that song just went through my head. I'm, I'm going to refrain from singing it. But I loved working at that car wash in the summer, y'all, because I, I got the blondest hair, because the sun would lighten my hair. I had the best tan. We would jam to the music on the intercom, get those vehicles, whoop them in and out of there. I just got used to having a clean vehicle. Even as a teenager, I had a clean vehicle, okay? So I still have one, all right? You throw in, kids come along. Okay, I still want a clean vehicle. Grandkids come along. I still have a clean vehicle. In that video, Car Organization Hacks, not only do I show you how I keep my vehicle organized, I give you some tips and tricks. However, you're going to get a twofer out of that video. In the other half of that video, when I get to the middle seats, that's the kids section. I'm going to get y'all covered on some little traveling hacks with kids and things that I keep in my truck at all times for my, I, I had them in there for my kids. My kids was like um, baseball bags, football gear, karate gear. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes, I went through that stage. So then grandkids come along and I'm like, you know what? There's got to be an easier way to travel with kids. Y'all, we didn't have YouTube, Pinterest, Google, uh, Instagram, all that stuff. We didn't have the internet when my kids were little. Okay, we had to wing it. But now we've got all these things that we can share all these tips and tricks like this video. So I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that when my kids were little? So y'all, I started implementing them when grandkids come along. So that middle section belongs to the grandkids, okay? And then when you got to the back section, I showed you things like emergency things to have on hand. Still kids' emergency things to have on hand. Women's feminine things to have on hand, okay? Um, uh, jumper cable stuff, you know, things that you need in your vehicle. But when I got to my stroller at the end of that video, I, I remember telling you, and I watched it just to make sure, I was like, someday I'll do y'all a Gmall stroller hack. And y'all, I completely forgot about it, and I apologize. Here we are today. So, this is going to be stroller hacks. And y'all, like I said, I wished I would have known all this stuff when my kids were little because I could have used some of this stuff <laughs> instead of doing things the hard way. But y'all, when grandkids came along, I'm like, I, g has got this. g has got this. I got you covered, baby girl. Okay, so in the end of that video, I showed you my stroller. 
off the top of my hand. I cannot think of the name of it, y'all. It's Graco, but I will put a link in the description box below. You can check it out. You can get one if you want to. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, this stroller, when we were shopping for a stroller, I told my husband, I said, I know a stroller is going to be an investment but we're only going to do it one time and I want one that's going to carry me from infant, newborn, all the way up to when I feel like I'm comfortable with them walking by themselves along beside me or, you know, even if they get tired, they may, they may get tired and just want a place to sit down. This is the stroller. I wanted a double stroller, but I didn't because I got two grandkids that are 14 months apart. And it's just like having twins. Whew. Okay. So I'm like, mm, let's do this. I, I need one. Okay. I mean, I, I take my granddaughters just about everywhere with me sometimes. And I'm like, I can't tote them. I need help. I need an extra set of wheels or an extra set of arms. So he fixed me up good. He got me the stroller I wanted. I knew I wanted the double stroller, but I didn't want the side-by-side. -side. I wanted the long one to get through doorways. Not all doorways is the same size. So that's what I like about this one first is it's long ways. It's not side-by-side. -side. Now, I have, take, I have changed my stroller since that video because... My granddaughters are older now, and I've had to take some things off, but I'm going to try to go back and show you. But if you click on the link and you go through it and you look at it, you will see how at the beginning it is set up for a newborn to where the very top one in the back, uh, closest to the handlebar, it was e compatible. I had to think of the word, y'all. Oh, there's a little sweat bee. Go, 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 go. Uh, are y'all going to see me praising Jesus real quick? Because I'm going to get up slapping my hands and slap this little bee away. <laughs> okay. Now, where was I? Okay. Um, slapping bees. Uh, where was I? Okay. At the handlebar of the, the stroller, before I took it off, because like I said, my granddaughters have grown. It's compatible with my Graco Harrier. Okay, you know, the ones that you bring the babies home from in the hospital, the carrier. Then it snaps onto a base, and it's a car seat in your vehicle for newborns, the carrier. The base of it snaps in your, uh, goes in your, buckles to your seat. Then the carrier snaps in the base. That's their car seat for newborns. Okay, that carrier also was compatible with my stroller for that stage, and it snapped in the top. When she outgrew the carrier, I uh there the I'll show you this in a second. Let me turn you around. When she outgrew the carrier, this is the back portion and the stroller part for when they're able to sit up and get strapped in and it grows with them. You see the straps back there? You raise it up as it goes. Okay, that comes out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all my stroller. As they grew, I started growing my stroller with them. So that goes strapped on to right here. These bars, let me see my hand, okay? Straps onto these bars. So you've still got the top height uh, stroller section here for this child. Here is a canopy, okay? So you've got this section right here. But I took the carrier section out and the stroller section out. Now comes the part where you transition it to a kid seat that can sit down back here. Put their feet down right there and lean back here and still have a canopy. Or you can, they can actually stand on this and stand up and ride they can either turn facing this way and hold on to the handlebar or they can turn facing that way to where they can see where they're going so uh even like six-year-olds can stand up on this one and sit here when they get tired 
Okay, so she's got an option. She can stand and glide, or she can sit if she gets tired. And she still has a canopy. This is a section up here for sippy cups and all such as that. It has the brake. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I've been in dust all morning. It has a brake. Okay. Still has a canopy. <laughs> now, this section right here is the other stroller section. Okay. It grows with them. It raises up. The straps are adjustable. It raises up. This one has a canopy. So both have a canopy. This is their little section right here. These are removable. You can take this off. Okay. Now, if you're wondering about the weights on the bottom, I'll get to that in a minute and I'll show you. So this stroller goes from... <coughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry. This stroller goes from newborn with your sections that snap on here and a carrier all the way up to you've got another one here that can ride so baby and a toddler okay and then when they outgrow this and this shift them to the back up to six years old y'all or heck when they get tired okay this is my compartment below that i put things okay like i said it has the brake y'all this thing goes down really easy with one touch handle snaps snaps okay now so i told y'all i was going to show y'all some stroller hacks so i'm going to show y'all some extra added space you can put on this stroller that i figured out first of all you're going to need you some carabiner hooks okay i've got three on here because y'all you can add extra bags i have a backpack for a diaper bag okay and that backpack does not fit down in here and when I need to get to something quickly, I don't need to have to move kids to get to it and then dig my backpack out. So that's what the carabiner hooks are for. I don't have my diaper bag out here, y'all, but, okay, they're kind of outgrowing it. So you can hook, you can take this off. This is removable. You have your carabiner hooks and you can hook your diaper bag or your backpack to it. Y'all, I have researched a stroller accessories. And y'all, them things can cost up to 30 bucks just for a little thing that goes right here to put diaper bag accessories in. Uh-uh, I made my own. Uh, One dollar for two carabiner hooks. I got them at Dollar Tree. So there you go, y'all. <laughs> two carabiner hooks for a dollar. I solved that problem. I take this off and I hook my backpack onto my stroller. Or, y'all, you can get a bag like this and hook onto your stroller. You can put one on each side. You can take a bag like this, put one on this side, and one on this side. This is where the weights come in handy, on the front. Okay, the purpose for the weights, I'll tell you. Okay, if you're going to hang something back here that is heavy, and you don't have kids sitting up here in the front, your stroller's gonna tip over backwards. That's okay, those are only like, pound i think maybe two i'm not for sure to go on and anchor the front of your stroller when kids get out of it and want to run around or see something they can get out and you've got a couple of bags strapped back here it won't go toppling backwards so yes that's what the weights are for okay now i'm going to show you okay we went to a parade one time and a fair and something else and y'all we all wanted to ride at the same time but i didn't want to take a chance on somebody stealing my stroller so i got a lock to hook onto something till we get off a ride or something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all some more things. Y'all, I picked up at a thrift store. Okay, let me show you this. Oh, it fell over on me. Right here, y'all. Look at that. Thrift store fine. Did y'all know that y'all can clip that on the back of your stroller for storage accessories? Let me see if I can, uh, let me hook this to the back of the stroller and then I'll show you. Y'all, is that not the cleverest thing? All I did was just put that, hang, hang that strap on the handlebar. I, would, it, I, I just for video purposes, I didn't do anything with that bottom strap. But y'all, if you don't need it, tuck it in somewhere or you can cut it off, okay? Look, you've got organization space on your stroller, okay? And I could probably sew another plastic hook over here. And there's a hook already here 
Y'all, I sew too, and I can use my carabiner hooks to spread it out a little bit more. But just for video purposes, you get the idea. You can engine, you can engineer it any way you want to. But you've got a place to put bottles, CP cups, water bottles, uh, diapers, wipes, toys, extra set of clothes, your things, another space to put you a water bottle, okay? Your phone, your billfold, okay? Y'all, I have another one right here. $2.50 at a thrift store, y'all. This is just a little smaller one. Let me, this is just a little smaller one. $2.50, y'all. I found these at a thrift store. Do y'all know what these are? These are back seat, uh, seat, oh, seat organizers that hangs on the back of the seats, okay? Y'all, I bought two of these. I, I mean, look at that. All right, there may be a way to hook two of these on your stroller. You never know. Y'all, get creative. Now, in the heat of the summer, I found these on Amazon, and if I can find them again, I'll link them below. Y'all, we've, we've gone places before where, we've gone places before entertainment that is hotter than hoochie coochie outside. So just let me tell y'all, I got it, I got in creative one time. I can't think of my words today. I got creative one time. The first thing I tried was, I found them at Dollar Tree, y'all, and they're little fans that you can clip on to something. A dollar. A dollar. And we went somewhere one time, and y'all, these grandbabies were getting red in the face. We, we had sweat trickling in places we didn't know we had. And I'm like, Mama, I got some fans in there. And we found a water fountain. And we dipped bandanas. I purposely took bandanas with us. We dipped bandanas in the water fountain. I think we were at a botanical garden or a zoo or something. And I'm like, Mama, we got to cool these babies off. So we dipped our bandanas in the water fountain and put them over our head. And we clipped the fans onto the canopies of the stroller. And they just sit back and relaxed a minute and let the cool breeze and that wetness cool them off. Y'all, they're faces went down their temperature was rising it was in the heat of the summer and their temperature was rising and i'm like mama we got to do something so we we got them cooled off we wet bandanas we clipped on the fans we got that well we already had the fans running but i'm like mama they're still hot so i'm just lucky we found some water okay and we got them babies cooled off all right then i was like i'm gonna find something better so i found some more fans at walmart i'll try to find them too y'all um they're little fans that you can find a way to clip them on too but they're usb charged so you don't have to use batteries okay and they were a little more powerful than just the dollar ones at dollar tree but y'all them ones at dollar tree they worked they helped okay it was just too hot for them but they did work and they did help and especially when we we got them some moisture on them and then that helped cool them off faster okay then i found these these goes around your neck Okay, be careful hanging these around children's necks. Okay, uh, let me stress that disclaimer. Be careful hanging these around children's necks. If they are old enough to know, d d don't choke yourself, okay? Or accidentally hang it on something. Mostly just use these to get a cool, cool quick down on them, okay? So I will try to link these below. So that is some faint some fans that you can use what else what else what else y'all I, I watched this lady one time they do a lot of disney travels they live close to the um park and they get like yearly passes okay so they are constantly going to uh disney world disney land disney world okay they're constantly going there so she was like showing you know like some things that are acceptable on your stroller uh in disney world disneyland epcot center all such as that and um things that they will allow and things that you have to take when you go there because you're in there just about all day and you know we do like little day trips you know with the granddaughters and i'm like okay that's not big enough down up underneath to hold all my stuff and their stuff, okay? My diaper bag's too big. I got to come up with something. I got a lot of hacks 
uh, by, by uh, looking at her blog post on Pinterest. I got a lot of hacks, okay? Um, the canopies, they stretch out, okay? This thing is washable. Y'all, all you got to do is get it out by your water hose, wet it down. You can get a scrub brush and uh, liquid detergent, okay? Wash it, scrub it rinse it down extremely well make sure all the suds are out of it the cloth and the bottom and everything and just let it sit out in the sun that's how i've managed to keep my stroller clean and i've had this stroller for six years now six years this thing and i told my husband i said it's not just for these grandbabies anything i buy for my grandkids goes down to future grandkids so this is like a i don't know how much it cost y'all my husband bought it for me but it, it was an investment but y'all six years worth and i'm still gonna get to carry it on down to other grandchildren it's worth it, y'all. Okay, so, oh, and at nighttime, y'all get the little glow sticks. If you're going to the fair at night, you're going to a rodeo or something, you're going to any nighttime activity, get the glow sticks and put on your stroller. You're walking across the street, okay, and it's dark. You're needing to cross the road. People need to see your stroller. Put glow sticks on your kids. People need to see them. Kids run out in the road, okay? Y'all, there's people out there that do not know how to drive or they're driving at night and they can't hardly see or other accidents happen you can clip some of those little glow stick things the little circle ones that you snap and you clip onto your stroller okay so there's a safety hack so i've got a stroller that carries me from newborn all the way up to six or seven years old when they can st wait they can stand and ride or they can sit and ride and it, my carrier goes down in there so you can clip anything on it with some carabiner hooks create some more space on your stroller by clipping bags on your stroller but put them weights on the front so when the kids get out your stroller don't go touch ka -ching, okay <laughs> go backwards so that is my stroller hacks y'all i wished i would have known these stroller hacks when my kids were little okay so that's my stroller hacks you've got a place for you and y'all you can buy the stroller accessories on amazon if you want to but y'all thrift store go to your thrift stores okay see what dollar trees got go to your thrift stores they're it's simple i was in dollar tree just the other day in the section where the teacher stuff is up at the top was a little thing that goes hooked on the back of the child's little seat and it's like a little organizer there you go you can get one or two of them and put it on your stroller create space on your stroller for your baby's things your kids things your things okay your cups your water bottles your keys your purse or your billfold ladies we're mostly the ones who are going to stroll these things anyway get you a lock on it okay so nobody can steal it um i think that's all y'all i hope this has helped i hope this has come at a time when right now uh everybody's taking trips it's summertime you're going to the zoos you're going to the parks you're going to this entertainment that okay your kids okay baseball whatever you you need this okay i hope this is coming at you at a time when you really need it or remember it for the next time you get your stroller out and you go somewhere uh y'all this has saved me as a grandmother it has saved me it has saved my kids because they're like uh mom Yes, you can borrow my G Mom. I call this my G Mom Mobile. <laughs> okay. I'm like, yes, you can borrow the G Mom Mobile. Because at one time they're like, that thing is huge. I'll never take that. They ate their words because there's been a couple of times they've, can I borrow the G Mom Mobile? We're going to the zoo. I need something. Yes, you can. Yes. See? G Ma's ideas ain't so crazy after all. I hope y'all can use this. I hope I gave you some tips. Shop them thrift stores. See what you can find. Create 
some space on your stroller uh and like that. the canopies are removable but y'all in the summertime you gonna need them they've come in handy in the rain y'all i have put little raincoats back here the plastic raincoats in my compartment and if we got caught in the rain one time and we were at a bass pro shop and we come out and it was pouring down rain and i'm like mama we got to get to our truck so the girls were up under there i had them a little raincoat on some blankets covering them and i had the canopy He's covering them. They didn't get wet not one bit. Me and my mother, on the other hand, we weren't the dry ones. But we had to keep them babies safe, y'all, and keep them babies dry. All right, so I hope I've gave y'all some tips and tricks to make your stroller more some more space on your stroller without spending a lot of money. I'm gonna put this on my traveling and car organization hack playlist, okay? Two. So that way you can go back and refer it. Go back and watch that video, y'all. Things I put in here for kids to organize. I've got a video uh, right now. Traveling tips with kids. Traveling with kids. Y'all, you're going places right now. It's summertime. You're taking trips. I got you covered for traveling with kids. Y'all go look at that one, okay? Things, uh, busy binders. Uh, activity backpacks. Things I have in my vehicle. They can reach on the back of the seat. In between the seat. I got y'all covered for traveling, y'all. No stress. I got you covered. Go check out that video, too. Okay? All right. I will check y'all in the next video. Hey, y'all. I just, I'm picking on my husband, y'all. See, we work. We work. <laughs> He's on the tractor again. I'm so sorry. I just had to pop back in here for a second. I thought I was done, but I wasn't. I just found something else that I had an idea with, too. I took I went to Dollar Tree. Before I found those organizers at a thrift store, I went to Dollar Tree and I found a back hanging door organizer that's got the pockets. I cut me a little section off of the bottom. I put some Velcro. To, let me turn this around. I found the little shoe organizer. <laughs> uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I cut a bottom section off and then y'all I put a strip of velcro on the back Okay, this is what you can do. You see that little. Oh, you're seeing me. Hold on <laughs> Y'all see that little handle going across there. I can even create a, another space and I was going to until I found those but I kept this I don't want to throw it away because I still may use it. I can velcro this cross that strip right there and have a place for four more water bottles or sippy cups or snack cups so there you go just use your imagination y'all or i can put it on the other side or i can put it up here okay strap it velcro it up here okay because this is removable too okay i can do that all right and create more space right here cell phones okay your cell phone somebody else's cell phone set of keys billfold there's you another little idea y'all cut you off the bottom section of one of those little dollar organizers because you're going to need the bottom because of the seam at the bottom okay you're going to need it you want to cut the bottom section off because it's closed strap you some velcro up here okay two-sided velcro and then find somewhere to hang it on your stroller so there is another quick idea, y'all, and it only cost a dollar. <laughs> I'm all about that dollar, y'all. I love it. Okay, there's your another idea. But then um, I found those at the thrift store, so I'm like, we'll just see. Y'all, I may see how much stuff I can get on this stroller. But I will link everything in the description box below for y'all. I think I'm done. We got work to do. I think I'm done. Okay, I'm going to clean my stroller up, put it back up. I'll catch y'all in the next one.